what is going on my mad people it's your boy the mad crowd on mad me i'm here to review to you the country of jewels okay starting off you know sometimes when you watch a movie read a story or an anime or whatever and there's always that one character that does something completely unforgivable that's just like makes you so angry at them that you just want to wish that they just die off the show completely but then the next episode they do something that makes you like yo I'm supposed to hate you. What gives? They give off a completely intention that's completely good. That you just can't get mad at them no matter what they did in the past. It's because it's totally reasonable. And you're like, deep down, like, oh, I have to forgive you. I don't want to, but I know I have to forgive you. And that's just the feeling I had in this episode with King. King, of course, it seemed like she's been a lonely person. And all she had was pretty much her brother. But however, They've been caught by the Lunar Aliens, and they've been pretty much, they lost all sense of self. They were nothing more than animals and on the moon, and it wasn't just by a chance of fate that they were able to escape. And yet again, the whole entire thing was set up, and, but even after that, King stead to her morals and intention. She only promised to make sure they give them one gem, and one gem alone. Now, of course, the Lunar Aliens were being greedy, it's crazy, and, just couldn't accept just one gem because they weren't being reasonable. Come on. First of all, when you know you do something and people don't already don't trust you as it already is, so if you trick them once, there's no way you can trick them again. Despite what your intentions are, both people have some um, stake and forks at you. They're not going to believe you ever again. So, what King said was made total sense. There's no way that they don't fall for the same thing twice. Especially, none of them are like foes. Foes is pretty much. You could say she's the dumbest, most dim-witted character in the whole entire group. So, when she finally got her brother back, the brother looked total badass, I'm telling you right now. He looked freaking cool. I like his character design. I like most of the character designs, actually, in this show. They're very unique and stylish, and they're just beautiful to look like. Like, you just paint a beautiful portrait of each of the characters, and I just sit there for hours looking at the characters and their designs. It's just so beautiful in how they do them. So, seeing King's brother with a nice design, especially how he just took out the whole entire Lunarians on that cloud. And we get to see some good development with Foes in this episode, by the way. Foes, in a way, you know, she's a childish, um, head fast, she is very stubborn and ignorant kind of person. And surprisingly, she's been living for about 300 years. So, technically, to us humans, she's old. She's ancient centuries from us. However, to the other gems, she's still a child, an ignorant person, and she doesn't know what she is in the world. And she actually, during this situation, it gave her some good development. She's laid there, staring up, just really thinking about her life. Like, has she really accomplished anything in her life? What has she been doing this whole entire time? That's what she's been thinking. And these are just the kind of things that most young adults in the real world go through. You know, they go through life, through their kids, through their teen years, even some of their 20s, playing around, doing whatever they want, not really thinking about the future, just having fun and living the moment. But sometimes in their life, when something bad happens to them, they sit back and they just think a deep thought, thinking, what have I been doing this whole entire time? What have I accomplished? Am I really satisfied of who I am right now? And those are the type of things that was going through her mind as she was laying there completely crippled and broken. And she, of course, forgave King. Anyways, that was one of the biggest parts in the show, how she forgave King. How despite everything that King did to her, she was like, I should be mad at you, but I can't do anything in my situation. Plus, she forgives her. She forgives King, and I felt that was a big growth for foes. So after she got back from the Lunarians, she had herself a new true goal, a goal that she's going to take seriously, and that's to help out Cinnabar, help find Cinnabar a purpose to live. Find her a reason besides Nightwatch. Of course, we knew from last episode Cinnabar asked to be part of Nightwatch because she wanted to have a purpose herself, but she didn't have one. So you have two characters that act completely opposite from each other, but yet at the same time, they couldn't be any more the same because they both are seeking a purpose in this world. So, Foe's new goal is to find Cinnabar a purpose, and Cinnabar has pretty much lost all faith in that. Is she's just this lonely person that just, like, she's pretty, I wouldn't say she's edgy, just saying that she's just 
you know, sad, you know, little play, little violin for her. But now, however, foes couldn't get all her parts back, sadly. Of course, they're immortal, but if they ever lose the parts that they have, they don't grow back. Like, you have to reattach them with some special kind of glue. So, they gave her instead of uh, organic pieces of a of the shell of a snail, pretty much, to attach to her. So now her legs look completely different from the bottom part of her leg. However, it gave her a new ability. She can run really fast. Like, you can't even see her. During the part when she would run towards all the way to the hill, I didn't even see that, man. She can run really fast to the point that not the naked eye can catch up to her unless you have a superhuman eye or something. But yes, who knows now? Now that she has this ability, what she's going to use with it now? But seeing how she has found her resolve and now has more confidence in herself to know what she has to do in life, she probably is going to let this ability go to waste. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing what she's going to do with herself now. And speak on that note, one last thing I want to talk about is what will be Foz's end game in all of this. At the very last episode of this season, I have a feeling that she will go through a very dramatic character change that's going to make her completely from this goofy, um, stubborn, ignorant child to this person who has seen and lost and was betrayed by a lot of things in life. So now she's more mature and I'm what I'm looking forward to in this show is seeing the growth of the foes and how she will change throughout this show. So that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you could. I'd be much obliged. This is Marathon Anime, signing out.